guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to Railroute. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I last played, however, this game has not left my mind um, since I last played it. I am constantly thinking of ways to, uh, to improve everything that I've built so far, get it working, get it functional, all that good stuff. So, um, the first thing, or first things... Uh, I would like to do is get some routing sensors, maybe or at least one here, working on this block. Um, but also, I would like to extend our route down here into Springburn and then down into Queen Street, which will be our first sort of big, big station. Because um, we've got Common Old up here, which is four platform, and then we've got you know Bridgeton, Easter House, Steps, which is a four platform station as well. We'll be working on this in the not too distant future but yeah Queen Street is sort of the first big one so Springburn first I think and then Queen Street and we'll build some kind of loop system we might even extend out here to Ashfield as well I'm just checking that um, this recording is going to work because I am recording on my laptop as I've mentioned a few times in the past uh, in other videos so yeah let's get started shall we so we'll get the um, ah we've got to unlock this first up to seven operated stations in total. Awesome. So upgrades is actually something else I wanted to look at today because there's a few other things that I would like to um, to do. Uh, what's five lots of twenty five hundred? That's what twenty five thousand, isn't it? Um, no, twelve thousand five hundred. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and buy all of these too, and then we can start linking up all of these routes. So I'm going to do cheap track first, and then we'll come back to the more um, expensive, high, higher speed track later on. So let's um, bring this down to here, and then you're going to go straight into that platform. Oh, and we've run out of money. So let's get the game running a little bit as well. I like the idea of this. I think this will work quite well uh, as an idea, as a concept. Getting this working, because then we can start running trains from Bridgeton right the way through to Queen Street, which right now is going to be perfect. Also got to remember the fact that what I'm looking at here is diagrammatic and it's not necessarily realistic. So uh, like things like this would bug me if this was open TTD, but because this isn't open TTD, I can kind of look at it a bit more relaxed and not worry too much about how bad it looks. How cheap is this going to be? My guess would be not very. Yeah, no money again. Uh, so we'll go back to... I don't think I need to worry about micromanaging the railway too much right now. I think it actually takes care of itself most of the time. Um, Cumberland Old is going to get rebuilt, as is the carriage siding down here, I think. Uh, that will be moved. Try and make that a bit better, I want to say, but maybe not. I don't know, actually. It's kind of tough to decide. Uh, so you're going to run down like this, and then you're going to run way out of money again. Yep. We're almost there. We're almost there. So I think 4 and 5 are going to be like the loop platforms. And you'll see how those will work shortly. Um, the rest of this, pretty happy. Yeah. Pretty happy. I mean, we're going to get... So Queen Street is going to connect up to Glasgow Central, of course, and then Glasgow Central is going to connect up to Newton and Bridgeton via a new connection that's not been built yet. There'll be a lot of rebuilding. There might be a lot of contract cancelling as well whilst I get to grips with all of that again. Um, so yeah, from here, you need to come out one like so. And then we're going to run up, and then you're going to run up like that. But we'll come back to that again in a second. We are earning money at a fair rate. So we're not going to go bankrupt anytime soon, although that was not good. Getting a huge minus there. That's definitely one that I would like to uh, have a little look at. For sure. Um, yeah, what else could I do right now? So I'm, again, I'm looking at upgrades and getting other things working. There's going to be some contracts coming through soon, I'm sure that will be helpful. We'll buy this extra platform up here too. 
so there's, there's, there's stuff to be getting on with. There is stuff to be getting on with. We've got some money trickling in again, so we'll have another look at this. So this one, I kind of want so you to run up like this, and then you're going to come out and then run up. And that's going to form our loop. Again, it might be a little bit more complicated than that, but for now at least, that's fine. I'm not sure how many trains will actually use this loop, mind. Actually, this probably isn't worth building right now, thinking about it. How do I... it's right click, isn't it? Yeah. That's probably not worth worrying about right now. I am going to look at... Uh, so let's get you to there, and then you to there, and that will count as our entryway to the station here. It's amazing how we went from having loads of money to having no money, isn't it? That is kind of funny. So you're a terminator, you're going up like that. Okie dokie. Now you're running back. Yeah, there's definitely scope for, for completely redoing the, the contracts again for sure. How much are the auto signals? 10,000 each. That's one done. We'll have to put another one there. This one's already been done as well. We could put a um, root sensor here maybe. That should cover that and then we'll have an arrival or a departure one at Springburn. Uh, trying to remember, what are you? You're a... the one, whatever one that goes on the station basically. Yep, that's fine. So, money's trickling in again. Good stuff. I'm going to have a look at some of the upgrades actually while I'm here. So red to green, green to red, all that stuff. Automation. That's all maxed out. So this may be weight in reverse. Or advanced tracks. Tunnels. Actually, tunnels will be really good. We'll get tunnels done. That will be really handy for building this whole section here. Queen Street down through to Glasgow Central and then back up towards Bridgeton. Bridgeton's about to become a very busy station. Uh, and this train here is about to cost me a lot of money. I want to get this auto signal in before that comes through. It's a shame I can't do that one. Alright, yeah, you go. Two and a half thousand penalty there. We do to get two thousand of that back. But it's still expensive. Not ideal. Um, that's another reason why redoing the uh, the timetable will actually be a good thing. Let's just see the money flow through still. So this one is heading this way, down towards Steps. This one is heading out from Steps, down towards Cumbernauld. Uh, do I need a crossover at Springburn? I don't think I do. What contracts are on offer right now? So you're a freight. I don't know if I need to take freight right now. Are you Bridgeton, Cumbernauld, Bridgeton? Yeah, I mean, you're just, you're just expensive. You're in an intercity. So you're Steps, Queen Street. Bridgeton. So I could, in theory right now, actually do you. I'm going to hold this one here. This one, I think I'm just going to decline. This one, car stairs to come on. I mean, I can't even accept that one even if I wanted to. Bridgeton, come on steps. Is this wait time? Actually, you're only waiting for... What's that? 16 minutes? That's not too bad. I think, again, I'm just going to go clean slate here. Bridgeton, coming old Bridgeton. Yeah, that one can go too. So this one up here is a, a good... It's not. Is it a one-off? I don't know if it is a one-off. I'm hoping it's not. Because that would be kind of good to have. Uh, let's speed up time again. I like how we can see like the speeds they're travelling at as well. It would be nice once we can up the speed limit around some of these. Uh, right, auto signal you. These have already been done, which is great. I might do this one too when the money comes in, just so we can start running trains to Queen Street. And the smart thing probably would have been to buy some of these and get Glasgow Central up and running too. But, hey ho, you can't win them all. I'm annoyed this isn't one tile wider, actually. If this came down here instead, we could have had a really nice loop system set up, but never mind. Uh, we have got some more contracts come in. Can't accept you. Can't accept you. That's 
the intercity one again. This is another intercity one. So your cast oh, I can't accept you. So steps, Queen Street, Bridgeton. We've also got Combinal to Steps. Which I'm guessing is coming out of the carriage siding. We've got five in there right now. So that's doable. That is doable. So I'm going to... Why can't I accept this one? Bridgeton to Queen Street. Oh, it needs a coach yard at Bridgeton. Ooh. I don't even know if it's possible to have one of those right now. So I'm just going to say no to that one. This one, though, I'm going to run now. And, uh, yeah, from coach yard. So you should go into... No, not two. Into three. No, no, no. Yeah, into three. And then hopefully from here you'll know... I'm going to reverse you just so you do know. And then you're going to go down into there. And then from there to... Actually, I'm going to buy the other platform here at Steps. Cool. And then uh, from here you're going up to there. So that's that now working. Nice. Uh, does this need an auto signal? It probably does, but I'm not going to worry about that one right now. So it's just this signal down here now. Good stuff. Which I can now afford. Nice, nice. There we are. So, um, yeah, getting some tunnels going as well would be nice. And then upgrading the speeds and the... Sen oh, the sensors. That's the other thing I need here. The uh, departure and arrival sensors. Now, I believe these down here are... Oops... Yeah, these are what auto blocks or whatever they're called. These things. So that'd be nice to have ready to go as well. Just building up some funds. Ah. Did I yeah, need to cancel that. I think I need to cancel you too. That's gonna cost me a lot of money. Oh yeah, yeah. That's cost me a lot of money indeed. That's interesting. Was it already auto set then, the route? That might have already been auto set. I might have just balls that up big time. Interesting. I keep saying interesting. What I mean is devastating, but still interesting. Okay, so this is all working now, which is fine. Uh, we need some trains to actually arrive on time, just so I can get some money from it. There you go. We're starting to get some money coming back. So I need 8,000, and I can get that other auto signal in. Oh, wait, no, we got that. What am I talking about? We need some uh, routing sensors. That's what we're needing now. Uh, it might also be worth getting this carriage siding here and then just building a loop round for Cumbernauld, maybe. It's not a terrible idea. Because I believe this is Cumbernauld. Uh, coach Yard. So, yeah, it says I can't build it there, and this is Glasgow Central. I don't know why I can't build it there. That's really frustrating. And that's Easter House there, so it's too far away. Yeah, it's, um, that's irritating. Maybe you can change it. Like, if I click on this. Is there a way to, like, change? No, I don't think there is. Okay. Um, so this, this train, this contract that I've got. Can't accept that one. Can't accept that one. Can't accept that one. Can't accept that one. So it is just this one still. Steps, Queen Street. Bridgeton. It is doable. It's very much doable. I'm going to have you come in on two. Purely because I think that's the better one. Actually, we got uh yeah, we got two intercities now, one in to do this route. Oh, Bridgeton Queen Street steps. You're doing the opposite. That's also fine. We can in fact uh, accommodate that one too. So I think the first routing sensor needs to go on this section here just so that this is indeed set up. So Springburn or Queen Street this way, Cumbernauld this way. Simple as that. Uh, in fact, is that the right amount of money or do I need more? I think I have... No, I need I need more. I need 25. Don't know why I keep pausing the game as well. Oops, 5 doesn't do anything. 
We've got a queue here as well, which annoys me. I think there is a way to change. In fact, I might do that right now. Timetable adjustments. And then you can create your own commuter contracts. That would be really handy. Actually, if I get money from that too, that would be like the biggest con of the century. Just set up a load of commuter contracts that I know for a fact I can fulfill. It's not a bad way to make a living. Yeah, Cumberland Old Station. So there's going to be a loop here as well using tunnels. There'll be a track that comes off here somewhere, dives underneath, and then meets up with. So there'll be another track that comes this way, and then this one will come down here. And somehow we'll tunnel underneath and come out over here somewhere as well, maybe. I don't, Actually, I don't know how I'm going to conquer that. Maybe Platform 1 becomes just from Glasgow Central and we tunnel under and then back up. And then 2 becomes either direction and then 3 becomes um, westbound only. Maybe. Again, if this was one tile bigger, it wouldn't be an issue. But it isn't. Alright, let's get this routing sensor in. So I remember how to do it. So I'm pretty sure you go... I might put you here, actually. And then we're going to cancel that, and we're going to pause for a second. So you... Select Auto Signal. You. And then Route Table Plus. So if you're going to Cumbernauld, you go via this. If you're going to Springburn, you go via this one. Or, if you're going to Queen Street, you go via this one. Okay. That should be functional now. How do I deselect? I don't actually know. Uh, so that's now working. We'll have another one here, maybe. Oh, do we need one here? We probably should have one here. Uh, maybe not a, um, a a routing sensor, but just an arrival sensor. Yeah, and we'll have an auto signal at the entrance there as well. We need the money for it. <coughs> but once we've got that money, we can start looking at that too. Let's select common old again for a second. I just want to have a keep, keep an eye on what's going on here. So we've got trains crossing over. We've got trains getting in each other's way. All sorts of lovely things. Good stuff. Yeah, there's quite a lot of train movement here. Quite a lot of train movement. Also, there's a train stuck there, so that can't move forward until this block becomes uh, free. So I need to actually save up until I can afford both. So the arrival sensor is 15,000. So I can, in theory, put that in now. Uh, I mean, let's get that in early, I think, here maybe here. Okay, it's going to look weird wherever I put it. We'll put you there. That's fine. And then we'll get the uh, the signal after and we can set that up too. Yeah, what a what a um what a tricky situation we we find ourselves in right now. Some of the um the junctions that I've built here, you can quite clearly see how they don't really work. <laughs> like they were very much improvised. This carriage siding thing here, I, I, it needs to be moved further away, ideally. Maybe we just don't have services terminated Cumbernauld anymore. It'd be very easy to do the Glasgow Central one. You just stick it up here in this gap, because I'm pretty sure you can't run track through here. So you just plop it up here, because I'm pretty sure. If I keep selecting the wrong thing. Yeah, I can have one there. Can't have any here, but I can have one here and one here. It's really annoying. I was just too far from station. Although, this doesn't say that. That's, yeah. That's really interesting that it's not letting me do that. Uh, also, have I just messed this up? Pretty sure I did. Uh, we'll just get you green for a second. That's going to cost me money again, isn't it? Pretty sure. So yeah, this should now be Cumbernauld via this track. In fact, they're both via this track, really, aren't they? So you're also going to be Springburn via that track.
Okay. Good stuff. This one here as well could be upgraded now, but I'll do that in a bit. That's the other thing you got to remember. As you add more to this, you need to um, update your routing sensors, the blocks that they're sending trains into. Otherwise, you end up with a bit of a problem. Come on, just a couple of thousand more. And we can afford that um, auto signal. Oh, that's close. Right, when that train gets back to Bridgeton. There it is. Right, auto signal you. Uh, no, click to reverse. There we go. So you, if I pause this for a second, select auto signal you, and then select station steps. Good. You then are now going to be going via that. Cool. That should now be functional again. This train is waiting for that one, which is always a problem too. There we go. So this one is working. Fantastic. This could probably be an auto signal here as well when we start bringing the intercity trains through. I, I, I'd actually like to see a, a route diagram for the Glasgow area to see how realistic this actually is. It could be the most realistic ever. It could be terrible. Um, again, who created it? It was... Mapped by Stargirl and then upgraded by Stir. And I think, to be fair, again, to put it in diagrammatic form is not easy. And I think they've done a, a, a really, really good job with it. So no complaints from me there. It's more a case of, um, you know, just a little tile here and a little tile there. And why can't I build anything here, despite the fact Cumbernauld's there? Maybe because it faces the wrong direction. But then you build it over this side and then you can't, because it counts it as Glasgow Central. Um, which is interesting, actually, because I could, in theory, build my Glasgow Central siding here and then have them route round through Cumbernauld and then loop round. I don't know how feasible any of that could be. Probably very or neither. It's either or. Um, yeah, I will build this loop here as well at some point, but I don't know if that's something I want to do right this second. I think what I really want to do is get the the auto sensors working for this whole section of line and then we can get that intercity train running because I know once we get that running we're going to be rolling in money. Uh, this signal here could also in theory be moved further down and I like the idea of putting these sensors as far back as possible on this stretch at least because it means we're we're blocking the track early. Uh, my thing just went off in my ear. Apologies for that. If that got picked up. But yeah, uh, a tunnel here as well would be a good candidate. So having another switch over. So maybe move this down one and then have another switch over here that then loops round. Uh, and then tunnels underneath and surfaces over here somewhere and then connects up. So we haven't got this flat junction to worry about. Likewise in this direction, tunnel under and emerge over here. That could be possible. I don't know if tunnels can cross each other in the game though. I hope they can because in real life you have them obviously at different levels but they would tunnel under one or under the other. Uh, right, we're getting some sensors coming or the money for sensors now. So routing sensor. I guess you're going to go there. You're going to be set up. So that auto signal and then we're going to go spring burn via Two, and also um, Queen Street via Springburn Two. So that that in theory is now right. A train can get this far and into Springburn. We still need to put the sensors at Springburn. Can you put a routing sensor in a platform? No, just an arrival. No, sorry, just a just a departure sensor can't afford right now but we will do soon okay so I think Queen Street I'm gonna prioritize next oh, I don't know maybe not I don't I don't actually know what happens if you run a train empty through a station I'm guessing it still works I 
I'm guessing. Also, this one here. No, I don't think I need to um, put an other, do I? No. I think we're okay. Right, the money's still creeping in. Uh, again, a, a whole rethink will be good soon. Yeah, we're working. I'm working on it. I've got it in my head, kind of, what I want to do. Uh, so, how much? Arrival sense is of 15,000, and then 20, and then 25. So, I mean, imagine if you could take out a loan. That'd be so handy right now. Just like Transport Fever. Take out a loan, get it paid off quickly as possible. Would be perfect. But, alas, not yet. So, I still need, I need a routing sensor here. To set up for steps and combinald. And then I also need a an auto signal here which I can do now. So it's only going to cost me 8,000. And then I also need um, departure signals on both of these platforms. Departure signals on both of these platforms. And I want to say an arrival sense. Actually I could, yeah okay. So in theory I could um, remove that and do that instead and then I can put a signal here but that might block spring burn so I don't know if I like that I do actually like this as a junction layout I think that works best it's just whether a departure signal can also act as an arrivals a uh, sensor sorry can act as an arrival sensor I don't know I'm willing to bet no is the answer to that question but you just you never know uh, that was lucky that you went into that platform then, because that could have been a costly mistake too. The other thing I could have here, I suppose, is a tunnel that comes out here and then loops it around. But I don't know. I just there's no way to connect that. So that's yeah, that's not really that's a non-starter as well. All right, I can afford a departure sensor now, so I'm going to put one on Queen Street Five, and you are going to be. Springburn via that, or also uh, steps via that, or also um, combinald via that, because they all leave via Springburn 1, which is actually quite handy to know. Yeah, if there was a, an upgrade that even turned stuff here into money, that would be useful. I mean, I could create my own commuter contracts now, technically. Or interface, there's nothing for money, is there? No. No, just waiting train notifications and things like that. Well, that would be handy one day, but maybe not right this second. Yeah, okay. We're just playing the waiting game still. I've been recording 28 minutes, so I think we'll cut this soon. Make it a two-parter, perhaps. We're getting really close, and this is kind of the breakthrough. Being able to run to a big station like Queen Street... Even if we've only got access to, to two platforms right now. I will eventually build this down and extend into three. And then these three here will also... Actually, maybe these four will go two into one and then two into one. Um, I can see that working well. Yeah. Don't know how that's going to work with the junctions here, but we'll make it work. It's fine. And then here as well, uh, maybe have five and four go into one for the loop round here. And then these four... We'll go again two into one, two into one. There will be crossovers between them two, of course. Uh, and then also we need to build the loop round to Partick and out to Ashfield. And I mean, Glasgow Central, seven platforms to play around with there. That's going to be magnificent. We'll have coach sidings up here. Oh, it's going to be fantastic once we get it working, of course. Right now, still working on it. I could just set up some temporary like um, infinity signals I suppose but eh I'll wait it's fine I can afford another departure sensor that's going to go on Springburn 2 so you're going to be Queen Street via 5 or Queen Street uh, whoops or Queen uh, ah yeah okay I think I'm going to need some kind of sensor then. Let me, okay, one sec.
How much money? Oh, I haven't got enough money for an auto signal anyway. I think what I'll do though is build an auto signal. Yeah, this line is going to move. It's going to have to. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So this is going to have to go like. Uh, wait, not that one. Sorry, this one's going to have to go like out one and then up and then into there maybe. But then you can't access it from two. Oh, that's um. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to have to do it that way. Unless there is another way that I'm not aware of. Which there probably is, knowing me. Yeah, spring burn. So you're going to go... I need to build the... Oh, I need to build the sensor still as well, actually. Uh, it's turning into... Alright, uh, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to leave the game running for a bit. And then when I come back next time, hopefully we'll have enough money that we can just do everything all in one go. I think that'll work best. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And, of course, if you're enjoying the series, drop some comments down below. It really does help out. Interactivity and all that. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.